Right, as you can see, we're on the Amazon website. It's Amazon.co.uk. You can see I've changed the pointer here to red so that it can be seen. Uh, because I'm, I'm moving across between three different screens here, and just depending on what I want to show you, I want to pull it onto this recording screen. Uh, but it can be quite daunting uh, on this website. I mean, where 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 do you start? Uh, I mean, where 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 do you start selling here? Uh, and I suppose it's like uh, even selling on eBay. You kind of sell what sells, and that that sounds maybe cliched and a bit common sense. To sell what sells, but what if you have a product that is not yet on Amazon? You only started to sell it. Maybe you sell it at markets. Maybe you, maybe you make candles. Maybe you make soap, like a handcrafted product that would not be on Amazon. It doesn't have a barcode. It doesn't have any description. It doesn't have photographs. Uh, we're going to cover that on another video. But to get started selling, the easiest way is to start selling a product. That is already on Amazon, on the Amazon catalogue. There are millions upon millions of products on the Amazon catalogue, uh, as you will see, and they're all broke down into categories. So if you click there, you will see shop by department. These are all the different departments or all the different categories of all the products on Amazon. So for example, if you did sell uh, soaps, say you made soap, you sold soap, there's a handmade section, handmade products. If you made candles, that would go into that as well. Uh, I don't know what other things would somebody make. Uh, I don't know if you made cards uh, out of paper, that sort of thing. There's a whole handmade section there for your product. But to keep things simple, uh, as I said, sell a product that's already selling. Find out how often it sells and how quick it sells and for the best price and then go and see if you can source that product cheaper either by a wholesaler and in some cases through retail so going actually into a retail store and buying the product maybe only buying three or four of them at a price you will find that you can actually come to Amazon and sell them for a higher price uh, and we will we will cover that uh, that's what we call retail arb arbitrage basically buying in one marketplace and selling in another at a profit and that's what's known as retail arbitrage or RA for short, the letter R, the letter A, retail arbitrage. Uh, the same would apply for finding products online as well. So if you're finding products online at a cheaper price, you can buy them, have them delivered to your home, package them up, send them to Amazon and sell them at a higher price. That's online arbitrage. So that's OA. So there's two, there's retail and there's online, RA and OA for short. There's also uh, something called PL and there's a lot of abbreviations here I know but PL is private label so that means if you made your own soap and you have your own label your own boxing nobody else can buy that nobody or sorry nobody else can sell that product only you because you have made it then that is your own private brand it's your private label so we will actually go through a process as well of creating private label products and putting them on Amazon uh, I don't want to get too bogged down in this video, but you now know what retail arbitrage is, online arbitrage, and PL, which is private label. Uh, there is another way to get product as well, which is wholesale. Uh, and that's one everybody knows about. Go to a wholesaler, buy the product wholesale, in cases of 12, 48, 144, and buy them cheap. You don't need to necessarily buy cases or pallet loads of stuff. But try it, test it first, buy five, buy half a dozen and put them on and try and sell them. And you will find that buying at wholesale and selling full retail on the Amazon website is a great way. And some people just use that model and only that model to make money, the wholesale model. Uh, a good place to start is the retail arbitrage model, the RA model, where you can find something in a local retail store at a cheaper price and sell it on Amazon at a higher price. Now I'm going to go through a couple of things, I'm going to do it in the next video, I want to keep these short, I don't want to bore you to tears, so I'm going to keep this video short and I'm going to move on uh, to the next video and just explain a little bit of uh, retail arbitrage and the types of products that you can source and a few things you need to watch out for when you are sourcing those products.